guys, today we're making white chocolate marshmallow bars and if you know me and you've been following What's Gotta Be Cooking for a while, you know I have the dessert palette of like a 10 year old and I'm not ashamed of it. Bars, cookies, brownies, all day long. These are one of my favorite recipes to make. It's just really simple to whip up, so here we go. Look at my new pots and pans. They're very shiny from my favorite place on earth, William Sonoma. We just have a little bit of vegetable oil in here, so we're gonna put this over high heat and we're gonna pour some kernels right into the pot, put the lid on, and then we're gonna give it a little bit of a shake and then it's just gonna kinda do its thing. We'll continue to shake it so it's evenly popped and perfect, which I have to tell you is one of my favorite thing about these pots. There are no hot spots, so making popcorn is so easy. All right, that is just gonna do its thing and we'll start hearing it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna melt a little bit of white chocolate. Okay, so here's the thing about melting chocolate. It needs to be melted in intervals. So I just melt white chocolate at 30 second intervals, take it out of the microwave, give it a little stir so it's gonna evenly melt down. And this probably just needs, I don't know, 30 seconds more? All right, this is perfect. Look, it's perfectly smooth and we're just gonna let this sit here for a couple seconds until our popcorn's done. Popping popcorn is literally one of my favorite sounds in the kitchen. Like some people like to fall asleep when it's raining. I think I would like to fall asleep to popcorn popping. It's just like very soothing. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Oh, I'm perfect. <laughs> All right, so our white chocolate is just gonna get drizzled right on top of the popcorn and we're just gonna toss it up while it's still in the pot. Give it all a mix to combine. All right, all the chocolate is combined. So let's go over here. I have to tell you guys, by the way, like finding a nonstick pan has been the bane of my existence for the past couple years. This is the only one I love. It's so incredible. All right, so we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna throw a couple tablespoons of butter right into the pan. Just melt it down. All right, that's mostly melted and we're just gonna dump 16 ounces of marshmallows into this pan. And while the butter finishes, finishes melting, these are gonna melt down. We want it to be super smooth. And just give them a stir. You're gonna have, to, it's not like as complicated as risotto, but you wanna keep your eyes on this so nothing burns and it all evenly melts. All right, so while those marshmallows are just finishing up, I'm gonna pour a ton of sprinkles on top of the popcorn now that the white chocolate's cooled a little bit. You can see the marshmallows are perfectly smooth. I turned the heat all the way off, and we're just gonna take this and pour these into the marshmallow mixture. Everything Get stirred until it's evenly coated with all the marshmallows. All right, and then I just have like an eight by eight or a nine by nine little baking pan and we are going to just pour this whole mixture into here. I sprayed it already with non-stick spray, which is muy importante because marshmallow stick. Look at that. It just glides right out. I may or may not lick that clean later. Let me just flatten all this out and kind of press it down as you're flattening it out so you have a really nice dense marshmallow bar when we cut these open. And then the last thing, we're just gonna sprinkle a couple sprinkles on top because more is more. All right, these have chilled for a couple seconds. You don't wanna chill them too much because having that nice warm marshmallow is so good. I'm just gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of Maldon sea salt on top or any flaky sea salt you can get your hands on to give it an extra punch of flavor. And that's it. I'm gonna cut these up. The full recipe is on whatscobbycooking.com and I can guarantee you, you're gonna be obsessed. 